Peter Zimbor and Brandon Barry ringside at Melrose Memorial Hall for tonight's Murphy's Boxing Card. And our first fight of the night is in the ring right now between Godson Noel, an undefeated prospect from Newark, New Jersey, who entered this fight at 4-0 with three knockouts, taking on Rodrigo Almeida, a Massachusetts native who is primarily a mixed martial arts practitioner, who tonight enters the boxing ring for the fourth time. Fought MMA on national television, no less, just a few weeks ago. We'll see how he fares tonight, taking a fight on one day's notice against the undefeated Godson Noel. Noel is wearing the cheetah trunks as a southpaw, and Rodrigo Almeida is wearing the trunks that are black black on one side and white on the other. Rodrigo Almeida weighed 148 pounds a few weeks ago for his MMA fight. 172 pounds he weighed in that yesterday, Brandon. Took the fight on short notice, but he's fought this heavy in boxing before. He's primarily a 145 pounder in mixed martial arts. In boxing, he's fought as a middleweight and actually has a win to his credit. Yeah, we'll see how the um, the height difference uh, might make a difference tonight. His opponent, you can see his uh, you know four or five inches taller. Obviously, the traditional boxer southpaw stance might give him some issues. I'm not really sure if the weight will have uh, much to say tonight uh, in the outcome of this fight, but we'll see. Rodrigo Almeida trying to bang away to the body of Godson Noel, who's keeping him close and not allowing him to do much damage. And I mentioned that Rodrigo Almeida fought on television a few weeks ago, national TV. It was the World Series of Fighting show on NBC Sports. He lost a split decision to a fighter from Maine named Bruce Boynton. Chael Sonnen, who was commentating, had Rodrigo winning the fight for what that's worth, but Rodrigo nevertheless went down with the loss and is in some trouble right now as Godson Noel has begun to found his range, and it looked like he hurt Rodrigo Almeida with a short left hook upstairs. You can see Rodrigo's obviously trying to make this, uh, you know, close encounter match, which is probably realistically his only chance. He's landed a couple of body shots, but other than that, um, he hasn't had much luck in this fight. I believe Almeida has taken three of his four boxing matches on short notice. And out of the three of those fights that have been completed, the one he actually won was the one where he had some time to train for. He fought Kerry Gray Pitts on about 72 hours notice and his first fight was against David Wilson in Connecticut and he took that fight I believe on maybe a week's notice. So Rodrigo Almeida he's the type of guy that the phone rings and wants to fight he steps in there but I don't know if it's always the best bet for his record moving forward as a pro boxer. No, if, he, if he's going to take this boxing thing seriously at all uh, like he has with his MMA which he has a very respectful record in the whoop, and he's down now he's hurt. I don't know what he got caught with there. I'm not sure if that was the left hook or what. He's, his legs aren't there right now. This fight's about to get stopped. I believe it was a right hand upstairs which staggered Rodrigo Almeida and put him to a knee. He gets up. He's beating the counts. However, I think our referee should keep a close eye on this one, and he's going to call a halt to it. It's a first-round TKO for Godson Noel, the Newark, New Jersey prospect who entered this fight 4-0 with three knockouts. He will leave this fight with 5-0. As his record, four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes and 32 seconds of round number one. Gregory Mike Barbell stops his contest. The winner by TKO victory and still undefeated. Two minutes and 32 seconds of round one. Godson Noel with a first round TKO of Rodrigo Almeida. A routine performance for Godson Noel, but a good routine to get used to.